what is up fellow critics yes we have another review and reaction for you guys today we're gonna to be doing the mandalorian season one episode four last episode was freaking epic we had that big battle with all the other mandalorians coming in and helping him out and uh we got some more little baby yoda and he dropped baby yoda off and came back and it was like you know what I miss my baby Yoda. Let's go get him back. And a uh, really cool episode. It's probably the best one to date. Let's we'll see this if this one is really good or not. I, I see just by looking at the little thumbnail that my girl is there. So uh, let's check it out. Before we start, guys, make sure you please like, share, and subscribe to Cinema Critics. Let's go ahead and start this episode up. Oh, wow. They're, they're uh, glow-in-the-dark shrimp. It's T-Rex. What's up with the one redhead in the group? Those are orcs? Taking all of their radioactive shrimp. Oh, they're like dogmen. Stop touching things. <laughs> but I like touching stuff. <laughs> you gotta touch it again. No. <laughs> I like how you looked at him when he was doing it. Oh, well, of course they come here. Get some of that shrimp. He looks Master, bigger. You Is it me or does he right look like a little stay. bit taller a little bit? <laughs> He's like, no, nah, I'm with you. Let's go. Oh, there she go. Oh, that's tight. Damn! She don't play. Yeah, they're silly. <laughs> it's like, what y'all doing? Now we have to ride back. With no protection. To the uh, middle of nowhere. Oh, that's that dry begging. Dry begging. Can't imagine there's anything living in these trees that an ex shock trooper couldn't handle. No, oh, she's an ex shock trooper. <laughs> they chill it. <laughs> Baby Yoda chill it. Looks like they're happy to see us. They just happy to see him. Oh wow, they are in the middle of nowhere. He's about to take it off? Wait, what? I thought he wasn't supposed to take it off from near people. That's pretty big. PTSD. Oh. Imperial Walker. We're gonna need to dig real deep, right here. But when it steps in, it drops. The two of us will hit their camp. <laughs> Have fun digging. We'll be Thought digging for a while. The, <laughs> the pointy end, dummy. Oh. Stealthy like. Oh, right in the whatever he got. She's gonna have to run through it. Alright, run through it. Oh wow. I like it so worn, battle worn. No. Yeah, they look so cool coming out like that. Oh, it's gonna stop. Uh, they ain't that dumb. Oh, crap! Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Got him. Uh oh. Bye bye. <laughs> It's like, what y'all talking about? This is good eating right here. Oh, wait. He's like, okay. I'll let him live. I'm leaving him here. What? Traveling with me. That's no life for a kid. That's what I'm saying. Like, you Back can't work. really leave him because the, he still got the tracking on him. No! Wait, what happened? Oh, okay. I was about to say. Woo. Well then, until our paths cross. No, come join. Until our paths cross. We need you to join the group. Another pretty good episode on our hands. Um, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Um, so right off there, they show them flying around and uh, Mandalorian. They're trying to find a spot where they can go. They find this planet. It's you know, it's kind of 
not too many people there and so they decided to go to this planet and it comes to find out this planet there's some bandits there that have been attacking this village and stealing their food and he actually lands somewhat near them so yeah they land at this planet and they go to a like a little uh cantina on you know on the planet and um you know they he goes there and he runs into uh Cara Dune which she she is an ex uh shock trooper and uh at first I guess she thought that he was coming for her because she might have had a bounty on her and um so they got into a little fight right there but then you see a uh, little baby Yoda kind of break up the fight just by being cute how you can be so cute that you break up a fight <laughs> I think that's pretty funny but, you know, as they're talking, uh, you know, she says, like, hey, I'm on the run, too, and this is my planet. So, pretty much, it seems like um, there's some kind of code where if you're, like, a runaway or, you know, on the run, and if you're on the planet first, then someone else on the run can't stay there. Just some kind of unwritten code, probably. And because if one, if someone brings one, then it might try to come after the other as well. So, it's unwritten code, and he's like, all right, well you know you've been here first like it's time to you know for us to go find another planet and so mandalorian is getting his ship ready to leave and a couple of the villagers come and be like hey you know we're getting attacked by these you know by this bandit group and they're selling our food you know you know would you please help us we all saved up money you know we will pay you can you help us and he's like uh no i can't do it it's not enough you know but then he is like, oh, you have a village. So he's like, oh, you know what? How about I just stay at your village? They have lodging. I can just chill at your village and, you know, see about this bandit thing as well. So he's like, oh. but what he did was he took the money that he got from them and he actually hired a uh, car to uh, help out to take out these bandits. So pretty cool. So they do some uh, scout work and they check out, you know, this bandit group and comes to find out they see these tracks, these huge tracks in the ground. And it comes to find out the tracks are from a freaking ATST. I don't know how it got there, but it's there. <laughs> maybe it got abandoned, or I don't know. Maybe they had a um, imperial like camp encampment there or something. I don't know, but it got left there. So they go back to the villagers and like, hey, you know, we can't do this. It's just us two. There's no way we're gonna be able to take ban the group down plus they have an atst on their hands so we ain't gonna be able to help do this and the villagers especially this girl the the main girl uh she's like you know hey we're not leaving you know we you know our people been here forever we're not going anywhere so mandalorian cardoon they they train these villagers to uh you know to to fight off you know they have to think of a plan and comes to find out this the girl she I don't know how but she has some blaster training she's actually pretty good <laughs> so um so their plan is to you know hold off the bandits while they dig a trap for this ATST so the Mandalorian and Cardoon they go and attack the bandit camp uh, they took out a good amount of people they blew up you know their one of their tents uh, they had some pools of I guess it's, I don't know what it was. It's some pools of like blue stuff, but they were drinking it. So I guess it's some kind of like homebrew beer or something. I don't know. But uh, they fought them and kind of blew it up. And then they start running. They see the ATST freaking lights pop on and start coming at the room. They start running, it, which it looks really cool because it looked like it's old and ran down, you know, been through some battles. And I really like that look. I really love the fact that all this stuff is it's old you know it's older now and it's been battle and you know it's been through battle and it has all this you know rust on it and all this stuff so it's really cool looking well they run back to the camp and uh the atsc is really cool it's going through the uh the woods and you can see its eyes glow like the the windows to the atsc glowing in the dark and it's all red it looks really really cool as it comes out of the trees so uh, they wanted to walk into this trap, but it stops right before it. And then all the bandits start running and they're shooting at them and trying to hold them back. And uh, so they have to, you know, try to lure this ATSD to walk further and go into this hole. So Cara Doom actually takes the blaster from the Mandalorian and kind of like jumps in like the pool 
and like he's shoot, you know she's shooting at it and trying to get it to walk forward. It finally does, and it finally falls into this uh, you know pond, and Mandalorian runs in and blows it up with one of his um, charges. So it was a really cool, really cool scene. I really I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, I don't know if I liked it more than the first, uh, the third episode, but I think it was really cool. It was like a little condensed story, a little you know like a little adventure story in one episode. So it comes to find out they actually stayed there for they've been there for a while. It was at least a month for om almost a month they've been there. And uh, I guess they, you know, the Mandalorian and this lady, they had a really cool connection. And, uh, you know, she was feeling them. And, you know, she wanted him to stay, you know, and start a life, you know, be together, you know. And, you know, Baby Yoda loved it. He loved playing with the kids and all that stuff. It was really cool. And uh, he was really close. Like, he was really about to take the helmet off and you know, saddle up and stay and chill, you know, and get his groove on. But, um, come to find out that there was a bounty hunter chilling in the woods and it found Baby Yoda and it was about to snipe Baby Yoda and Cara Doom, you know, kind of seen it and took this guy out before he shot him. And, uh, so they realized, hey, we cannot stay here, you know, can't do it. Uh, they know where he is like I w you would think though because they he still has some I guess he still can be tracked So why would they think he would be safe on this planet? I don't know why I don't know no matter where he goes He's uh, you know, he's gonna constantly have people going after him. So they decide to leave and um, I, It really sucks because I really wanted Cara Dune to join the group I think what's going to happen though, a little pr prediction for a little bit, uh, maybe the last episode or second to last episode, that uh, something's going to be predicament, something crazy is going to happen, and he's going to have to call some friends. So he's going to call her, he's going to call freaking Nick Nolte, maybe some couple other people he uh, meet on the way, maybe that droid comes back, calls him up or something. So I think that's what's going to happen. I think he's going to have a little adventure each episode, a little mini adventure and then something big is going to happen he is going to call all his friends in probably which is kind of it's just fine i don't i don't mind that so yeah this is a pretty pretty good episode i like that it was one little story came back in one episode pretty cool guys let me know what you thought of mandalorian please let me know in the comments below thank you for watching guys make sure you please like share and subscribe to cinema critics we'll catch you on the next video peace out